Hello everybody, this time about how I brick it, <laughs> almost brick it, a Volvo Dash. So in this case I already use a programmer and already connected to my uh, 1M ADF microprocessor, which will actually need to be restored again, uh, like uh, make it brand new. What I've been trying to do, I've been trying to change language inside of a uh, microprocessor and when I read it and when I write the flash in here uh, basically in the writing mode something goes completely wrong I get the error uh, everything was bricked down and none of a chance to restore it how it was looks like as you can see here look uh, finding USB device status OK and frame function can kvp packet could not receive can signal so i've been trying a lot of stuff in here but none of it uh, succeeded so basically yes the dash goes completely dark i tried to connect it couple times and as you can see i get only error codes and nothing more than that just error error and no communication no connecting so in the OBD mode, that's it, that was done, and there was none of a chance to get solved. It. So, what I've done actually is uh, took this little dash in the pieces. I will show you in the video how you can do it, pretty easy. You have to remind a couple things what you need to do. At the moment, the dash is not very understandable, but anyway, you can see this is a P3 version, this is a 2012 uh, Volvo X. 60 so actually yes uh, the refurbishing or taking in the parts it is some kind of um, stuff what you have to know where exactly you have to go but the main thing is you know where you, you have to know where you want to solder the stuff on to read out the flash and read out the EEPROM uh, on the bench mode, let's call it that on the bench mode or open mode I already read the EEPROM and I read the flash and before the reading, it's good that I read the original flash and original EPRO. So now is very big chance to restore it. I don't know if it will be possible or not. But anyway, if we go through the flash, which been read it uh, on the bench mode, how I call it, is almost empty. Look, it's nothing in there. It's just FFF, so that means it's completely clear. That's what I saw. The programmer showed me then the flash is completely rust and when it starts writing it get error code and that's it and it's done but the EEPROM was non touched so I hope so EEPROM is okay and I only need to restore the full flash so let's go ahead and do a flash restoring so now actually is going the process of writing and the VVDI prog is basically doing writing mode now it's 21% so it's XC60 2012 year and uh, hopefully it's get to the hundred percent and it will write the job in as you can see we here we're running a time running a percentage and on the side we can see the mask uh, the both masks basically um, yes and that's what we're doing dashboard we are writing in the flash now so let's keep writing and see what we have on the end of it. I think so. I rewrite the EEPROM as well to make sure all runs good. It's still writing 82%. It takes some while, but before that, I would like to show. Look on this. Can you imagine these angles is made? But actually, the good thing is you no need to remove these lovely how you call them sciences, which one shows the speed and RPM. They are just lovely, lovely built. I like them pretty nice looking style and you no need actually to remove them so that's kind of very good and you can took them off pretty easy uh, when I took to when I will do this whole thing back on uh, yeah then I definitely will show you how you can do it but end of it it's flash now uh, and communication operating success so it's right in 100% so that's kind of cool I think so actually I will not rewrite the oh, yeah, I put the Russian language in if somebody like to know we can do Russian Latvian and yeah 
and uh, I cannot do English actually. Probably I can, uh, but EEPROM, what I will tell you, it's no need to be replaced because the chosen files are identical. The one I read before with the OBD mode and the one I read now. So EEPROM is not being touched. So EEPROM is just in perfect condition. I write in only flash. So now I need to desolder all that stuff off and keep solving the panel back. These little things is actually sliding out pretty easy. Look, you get this all thing out. You have two little clips, one in here and one in here. So you put those two clips down and you can uh, like shelf slide it in and out. And uh, then actually yes, with the board, when the board is, is almost in the place, you can slide that thing in and out, and that's not a problem. So, you can slide it out, and the same, you can slide another one. Just look on these clips. You can see, here you go, one clip, another clip. Just pull them down, and you can slide it in and out pretty easy. So, what I'm going to do now, I just join the plate with the, this uh, little white top of holding all that stuff together and after that we will slide these ones in so let's go when they are joined look like these ones here you can see these little pins so it's hold those pins one in one side one on another side and actually now you have a place where you can slide these little panels back in a place as you can see there's some numbers if you like to see them but don't mix them up. I don't know, probably they will work anyway. But I think so, don't mix them up. These numbers is different. This one in here, look, is these ones. And then is these ones. The boat is gross, see, but <laughs> you can try to mix them up, but I don't want to do it. So just let's slide this first one in. I slide it in. Look, you just keep pushing. You will see these little holders in here. Just one clip in here and one in there. So just slide to the end. And after that, you need to connect this little thing and that little thing. So two plugs in here and two plugs in there. So that's pretty simple. After sliding that one in, I suppose better to screw those screws in. Three screws. So hold that plate in the place. So you can work pretty easy and you no need to hold anything down. So I already put these things in. Uh, only needs to be fixed and I think so we can go and plug it on straight plug it on without any other things and to check it all right I already get the dash inside of a Volvo car this one as you can see have a big uh, SEM not the SEM but uh, ECM which one means actually there's big interface there is not that small one, so there is nothing about you can do that. But that one can be remapped. And as you can see, I already connected. I already tested, but I would like to show you. I'm pretty happy with it. So I open the car. Lovely. And the dash that why that's far is going up. Um, then I take the key. I can probably open the doors and see what it says. For now, it's nothing. So let's take the key, put it inside of a slot. And I think so. I just press and not the, and start the car. Woohoo! It says, "Dolejte žitkost v obmyvateli." So uh, that means you need to uh, fill up um, the reservoir with the windscreen uh, washing liquid. And uh, there's some kind of millage. Uh, then you have uh, one message. You can see that message actually. That's what it means. I already put that. Uh, Russian language on look it's nice pretty nice that what actually normally uh, yeah it says then um, the battery is getting flat that's because we have a lights on all on and it's getting flat definitely so uh, that's what you normally do with the through the OBD actually in this point uh, I write it in with the OBD and I get bricket uh, the, hopefully I get the full original. Uh, I done the remap of a language, so I already installed the language in. So that means actually all cool, all good that far. 
and uh, that's actually kind of cool stuff it shows how many uh, oil level is inside of a dash so that's very happy then you get this thing back on and everything is working pretty perfect so we are very happy with that i think so we're gonna go and keep uh solving back the dash another thing you can change your time on side of a uh, dash as well so in there is already russian language on that one you can change by yourself with the buttons in here that's pretty easy this one is a little complicated but anyway we win that thing and i think so we have to go further and put this solve all back together and install in the zone in back inside of a car okay let's move it on what i would like to show you exactly how these little things have to be you have a little uh, sciences which ones have to be matched to install these ones so don't mix them up they're basically the same these little ones is for the lightning the light coming but actually <clears throat> what it have to come uh, it have to come in the rpm goes in here so don't mix rpm here the speedo goes there and when you're installing them, as you can see, they have a little pass through. So in these ones is pass in one side, the same in pass in other. And then these lightnings will oh hello processor. Are you there? Yes, it's just right behind there. Processor it goes right into the place where the lightning diode is. This little thing. Here you can see it. It's LED, LED, light emitting diode. That's what it calls. It's number 8, that one probably 7. But in our case, the most thing is to pull this thing right into the clocking place. Just like that. And then you can screw these little screws in. One in there, one in there, one in there, and one in there. And the same you do with another one. Just pick that thing up. 260 kilometers it can go fast yeah definitely then you can pop it in and the same you slide these things right in place so what i like about these dash this is actually the sliding technology you slide and pop all things in and out the same on the side of here here we go i like to test things always first so as you can see we test do all things work perfect and that's it is actually I put in the reverse let's go for a drive yeah it's lovely speed is going up so that means everything is cool yes everything is nice and actually we can keep going to put all things back together nice the same we check how the changing stuff in here perfect and then here we go echo drive so we press that button down and it says echo drive is switched off and now is switched on perfect this little thing actually when you do the job have to be removed first it slides in just in here as you can see there's LED lights and this thing slides in in here so you can see these pumpies so you go right into them and <clears throat> you will slide it in because if you're not gonna remove this little thing off you will never be able to pull these things out so this is the this is the main thing the skating what you have to do yes all right this is how it looks like all solved back together is nothing special in here just screws all the way around it's not a big deal just some clips away around with these ones and you're done so let's go and install it into the car what I like it is just one plug only one plug it says ignition on <clears throat> so uh, there's one plug in there and what you need to do actually is screw that let me click that blinky thing off okay um, there's a screws <clears throat> with the torques one in here one in here and two is top of here one two so that's the way how you get this thing off 
This little plastic is just pops out. You just you just pull it out. It pulls out. There is no screws, nothing. You just pull the thing off. Pull it out, lift it out, and you're done. So let's screw these all things back together. All right. <clears throat> In this point, I would say thank you for watching. Be careful with the programming and uh, different stuff because you never know what's gonna go. It's programming. It's hard job. It's basically uh, <laughs> sometimes it's just ridiculous. You don't want to do anything anymore uh, if you get something break it. Um, yeah, you have to do careful. But anyway, how much you want, you can try. But you never know how things will go. So programming is always and 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 very very uh, complicated stuff. Uh, basically, things is not depends just on you, because things that depends on the tools what you use, on the basically softwares what you use, and and that's that's very very good. Then you have a, a lot of a tools to make all things done perfect, like in my case. So start the car, perfect. So at this point, I would say thanks for watching, and see you in the next video about that all things good luck this is all about the volvo bye but don't forget to click that subscribe button give a like and see you